Man, it's really been a while, huh? Have I got some updates for you. Welcome back to another Purity Vanilla episode. I am still sort of near the world border. Um, I've come across this raid tower, and I figure we can we can take a shot at uh, completing it. We've got uh, an iron golem right here, and this episode is probably going to be a bit weird. I just wanted to talk to you guys about some things that are going on in my life, that are going on in Purity Vanilla, and kind of just keep you up to date with everything. So we're going to free this little iron golem here. Hopefully he kills those phantoms that just spawned in, because I hate phantoms. Get him, bud! First and foremost, the lack of videos recently. I am sorry. Um, school has gotten over. We are now done with school, but I am doing summer classes. And on top of that, I'm trying to plan a wedding. At the time of recording, I am less than two weeks away from being a married man. And that's kind of crazy to me, still. I'm getting married on June 5th, and right now it is the 26th. Being married? What? Me? I'm only 20! We are getting married at Haley's church, and we're gonna have a small reception afterwards and everything. It's gonna be a really, really small wedding. We're keeping it cheap, as we are in college students and really don't have much money to work with. But it'll be fun. I think we've just about got everything set up with all the, the music and the food and the order of things and pictures and, and all that sort of stuff. There's so much to consider when planning a wedding. It is a lot. But like I said, we are keeping it small and cheap, so I think we've got everything under control. After I get married, we're going to be taking a very short honeymoon, basically to the middle of nowhere, um, in a little cabin, and we're just gonna hang out for, I think it's four or five days, and there's not really a whole ton to do there. We'll bring some games, we'll bring an HDMI cord, we'll, we'll play some Genshin Impact. I've been addicted to Genshin Impact for a couple months now. Um, fantastic game, would recommend. We'll play some Genshin Impact on the, the big TV or whatever with the HDMI cord from our laptops, and that'll be super fun. We'll play some card games, and hopefully we'll just be able to relax. I think there might be some trails near there that we could maybe walk, and apparently Excuse you. Explosive diarrhea much. Apparently, Gibble Pokemon Community Day is gonna be, like, the first day of our honeymoon, so maybe we can get, like, a Garchomp on Pokemon Go. After the very short honeymoon, we will actually be staying with her parents in their basement. It's not ideal, but we are college students. I love her parents. It's not, it's not gonna be a huge big deal, but obviously just... The, the kind of stereotype of living in your parents' basement, especially after you just got married, is a little bit weird. Um, and, you know, not what we would first choose. We'd love to be able to, to have our own place, but we just don't have the money for it. Um, and we will be getting out of there um, after a few months. We're going to have our own apartment uh, just outside of where we go to school. It's actually married housing and graduate student uh, housing, so I think there's like eight rooms or something. It's very small, so we'll be renting that out, and we'll start living there in August. But like I said, before that, we will be living in her parents' basement just for the summer, and while we do that, we will be working for her dad, who owns a mowing company. And so I will be doing a follow truck. I'm basically gonna drive behind the tractors and have a bunch of flashy lights and stuff that tell upcoming drivers, hey, don't hit the tractors in front of you, that would be bad. So basically, I'll just get to chill and listen to music and, you know, drive at a slow pace and stuff. I don't think it'll be too bad. Hopefully it's not really hot, because I do really bad in heat. It just makes me upset and tired and exhausted and it feels like I'm dying. I hate it very much. She will be on a tractor. She's been with the company for a few years working for her dad, so she will be doing a tractor, doing the mowing, we'll be working full time, as well as the summer classes that we have, so fun, fun. We'll also be staying in like random hotels a lot of times throughout the week, which will be an interesting experience. We're gonna be doing a whole lot. I'll be very busy this summer, which gets me to my next point. I have absolutely no idea how much I'm going to be able to record. It is going to be absolutely nuts. I'll have just been married, um, I've got the honeymoon, and then I will be going around to random hotels and stuff, I'll be mowing all day, I'll be at her house on the weekends, so I could possibly record then, but again, I've got homework, I've got, uh, you know, hanging out with her family and all sorts of stuff. It's, it's gonna be bit, it's gonna be very crazy. So I, I can't promise that there will be videos this summer, which is really unfortunate, because I don't know that I've gone an entire summer without producing videos for five or six years, so, man, 
It'll be, it'll be different. I'm gonna miss it. Once the summer is over and we go back to school and live in that married housing, it's possible that I could make videos. Um, but again, we're just gonna have to see how noisy it will be to neighbors and all that sort of stuff. We'll have to see how much time I have. I think I should be able to make videos still. But I will keep you guys updated. Make sure you follow me on Twitter and, and that sort of stuff to, to keep updated on that. So I'm not saying the channel is dead but it may be a bit of a summer hiatus after this video. In other news, I recently had my 8th birthday on Minecraft, my 8th my anniversary of playing Minecraft, which is crazy, because I, I feel like there are probably- I don't know if anybody watches my channel who's younger than 8 years old, but I could have been playing Minecraft longer than some people who play Minecraft now are alive, and that's really crazy. That's just mind-boggling to me. I started on PC in 1.7, but before that I played Xbox for a few years, and before that I played mobile for a few years. So, maybe not a few years, for a while. Minecraft Pocket Edition Lite, the the beta or whatever, where you had to, you could, you had a free trial and then you could pay so you could save your worlds and things. Man, those were different times. Those were different times. The base that I've been traveling to, the, the MS base, well, I haven't started traveling to that yet. I said the Morningstar base, we are part of this group called Morningstar, and we've been getting ready to travel to their base um, for since the start of the series. And obviously it's been a couple months since I've last put out a video on here, MS has since died. It died recently. Apparently somebody leaked their coordinates and I don't know if people were just frustrated or whatever. I haven't been super involved in the group obviously because I haven't even gotten to their base yet. Um, but it is unfortunate to see the, the group kind of quit and disband. So right now I'm groupless. Which is sad. If there's any groups out there who want to <laughs> recruit a player who's probably going to be super inactive for a long time. Hit me up. So today is more of an update video than anything else. We're probably not going to do a whole ton today, but I would like to see if I can get back to my base, depending on how long that is going to take, and see if it's still, if it's still around. It has been a, a long time since I've gone back to my base, so I want to see if we're still doing okay. This is the end of an era, man. This is my last video, probably, that I'm going to make as a single man. I'm gonna be- I'm never gonna make another video not being married. I'm gonna- what? I, you'd think I'd understand and get over this shock after so many months of engagement, but no! We have to figure out like who's coming to the wedding, how we're gonna feed everybody, all this stuff. There's so much to do, but you know, premarital counseling I think has been something that's put my mind at ease a lot because we've been talking about, you know, how to make the relationship work and everything, and uh, I just feel like we're so good for each other. Like, Haley is honestly my best friend, and it, it just seems so easy. Not that marriage is going to be easy. Not that marriage is going to be easy. I'm not under that delusion. But a lot of the stuff that we talk about in premarital counseling can be solved with, you know, simple communication. Like, if there's something minor that annoys you, or if there's something going on, or if you're stressed or anything, like, so many of the problems that they talk to us about in premarital counseling just requires good communication skills. And we, we are so good about talking to each other, and I love that about her, and I love that about us, that we can just talk about anything, because it's, we're just best friends. I get to move in with my best friend and spend the, the rest of my life with her. And that is just, man, I'm just, I'm really lucky. I'm really lucky. I'm very grateful, and it's gonna it's gonna change my life. It's gonna change this channel. It's gonna change everything that I've known and flip it on its head. But man, am I excited! I know you can't see it very well, but it is just bizarre to me cleaning out my whole room, like these shelves that you've never seen before, that are always right next to me. Shut up. They're like completely empty now, and I'm just clearing out my whole room, and it's like I'm going to college and clearing out my whole room. It's like when Andy's cleaning out his room and going to college, and it's really sad because you've always known Andy as this kid, and he's always been living in this room. I feel like I'm moving out to college, except like for the rest of my life, and like I'm never gonna- this is never gonna be my- my house again. Like it'll always be my home 
in my heart, and it'll always be my, my you know, it'll always have a special place to me, but it's it's not going to be where I live anymore. We are right next to the nether high- Oh my gosh, I got lost in nostalgia. <laughs> Shut up, piglin. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it from you. I don't know if I made it overtly clear in the last video, and, you know, I just haven't recorded in a long time. So, for those of you who don't remember, or if I never mentioned it, above the nether axes are big iceways for boats. So we can see some obsidian here, this is where it starts. So if we dig around to the side, we can go over here, and of course there's no ice right here. And if we go far enough, this obsidian trail will turn into an ice trail, and that is how I can speed along on my boat and get to places very quickly. It's wonderful, never seen it before on a different server, but wow, it is effective. I don't remember having to go this far without ice. Been running for a little while. People better not have removed the ice. Oh, another portal. Where does this go? Why is it in the middle? I'm kind of curious. I feel like it's a trap. Oh no, I, my keyboard's not working. Oh, I'm just curious. What the heck is this? Yeah, I'm too lazy to, to go searching for bases. There's some creepers right there. Please don't touch me. 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 Oh heck! Oh heck! No! It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I'm about to get married. I'm so weird. Why does she like me? This really just isn't as fast as I remember it. I see a singular block of ice on the road. Where did it all go? Am I crazy? Is it just way farther down than I thought? Because if somebody removed it, I'm about to be ticked. I will find them. I will grief them. I don't know when. Probably not till at least August, but you better hide. Hold up. I just went through portal. And there's actually stuff in here. Th this is a highway, so there's no way that that there would actually be anything here. My mini map appears to show a wheat farm. Look at this. There's some sort of quartz built. There's an enchantment set up here. Have we just have we just found our first base? I mean, it's under construction. It is directly on the highway. I don't know why anybody would build here. I want an enchantment. Well, I, we already have an enchantment table, don't we? But I'll take the bookshelves, absolutely. Here we go. Here we go! Oh my gosh, I just I just took this turn and I saw this bed that I hadn't noticed before. Look at this! Some blocks of iron, some, some iron ingots. Oh, wow. Um, I'll leave the bed. Honestly, I'll leave the bed. There's no reason to destroy it. Yes! Thank you! Why is there no ice? <laughs> Due to the direction of that sign and just the phrasing of it, I have a feeling that somebody literally destroyed all of the ice, which is really unfortunate. I just found this above ground. And I, I was just looking at the fishing around and there were a couple of the drowns and the first one I hit dropped a <laughs> train. Pretty sure I just found our ticket home. That ender pearl. And I think we just tossed this stuff. Oh no, we already have stuff in our ender chest. Let me clean some of this stuff up. We're probably just gonna die and go back to, to our base. I think this looks pretty good. We're just gonna go die. There we go. Let's hope our bed is still there. Eee! Looks pretty untouched. And there's all of the beautiful things that we saved. Oh my goodness gracious. We did it. We're back at base. That is gonna be it for now. Like I said, today was kind of just more of an update video and traveling back all the way to our base. Turns out that we, we could have just done this a lot sooner. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you do understand the situation going on. And I don't know when the next video will be right now. But thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and goodbye!